Okay, welcome back to part two of this high or lower script. Um, in this part, we're going to be doing the process.php. So first off, we need to get the option for which the user has uh, selected. So dollar underscore post um, option. So this will basically just, as you can see, in play.php, we've named both the forms, the submit button, both. We've named them both option, but we've changed the value in in them. So whichever one they click, if they click this one, the option is therefore equal to higher. And um, if we select this one, the option is therefore equal to lower. So so we're getting the option which the user has s selected, and we can create an if statement based on which option the user wants. So basically, we can say. Um, if the option is equal to um, higher and please remember that um, if you had capitals in these values here in which I have at the start um, then a capital must be um, cap is case sensitive basically um, for that and basically what we can get is the score is equal to dollar underscore post um, and this will get the score and the number 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 um, and we also need a new number and this is going to be equal to the rand function again and just 1 to 10 and um, so basically that's why we needed these um, hidden fields because we need to get the current score and the current number so basically the number is being passed along through the number and score is being passed along through every page basically um, so now that we've got everything we need we need to create another if statement within this if statement basically saying um, is the number higher because um, we've selected here higher is number higher than the new number so basically what we can do in this if statement is if the new number is greater than or equal to um, the number we can then say um, new we can create a new score and this is equal to the score um, plus one just like that um, and we can then echo out to the user here and um, the num number was higher um, and we can create a farm action is equal to and this goes back to the play with the method of post and the farm off there and in here we need um, input type is equal to hidden so basically it is quite repetitive um, from like the last page but put in the new um, the new values in here um, so if we can just copy this down hidden new score and score and one last one for the submit button input type is equal to submit the value we can put as um, click here to continue and we don't need a name seen as input button it's not doing anything at all and um, getting that because that's the wrong way around and um, so basically and um, now that's done we can create an else and basically if if the user is lower now we can kill the script and say um, the num the number was um, and we can tell the user the number 
Um, break that off if we put these on different lines to make it a bit easier to read and um, the number was and the new number is new number um, uh, paragraph that off there um, so that the number was Lower. Um, don't know why I've put that in them to be honest. So if the number was lower, um, we can break that off there, and basically we can just create a create a um, link here back to index.php um, with the message. Click here to play again. Um, that's why we're saying if the user lands on index, the score will be reset to zero. Um, because once you've started, if you keep getting the answers right, you'll just be going between play and process. And you won't see index.php again until you actually lose. Um, so that's uh, higher. Um, so let's try and test this out. Um, Click here to play. As you can see, we can only click on higher because we've not done the lower script yet. So number A7 higher. Um, oops. Let me find variable line three. Um, dollar underscore post. And resend. As you can see, the number was the number was seven. The new number is six. Um, so the number was lower. So. Um, can't exactly use that one. Right, this one must be higher now. Higher, the number is higher. Click here to continue. And we get a new number, even though it's spawned again. Um, and we get a current score there of 1. Higher, number is higher. Current score of 2, and a new number is 3. Higher again. Um, and obviously the number was lower that time. Um, so basically, it's pretty simple to do, really. Um, you just need to now... Um, create the um, lower which is very simple and um, basically all I have to do is copy this whole script and paste it down here select change that to lower and I think we can only change um, that like that and to be honest I think that's done um, Sorry, the number was. We need to put that as um, higher um, because we've selected lower this time um, and changed. Basically, you're changing everything to lower. Um, so I think that's it. Um, that is your higher or low script. If we just go back and uh, test this out, click it to play. The number is two. Higher or lower? I'm going to say higher. Eight, so I'm going to put lower this time. The number was lower. Four, and there you go. And um, basically, we should have equals on that one as well. Um, um, so try again on that one. Resend. And um, actually, we get we've got a new number now. Um, so you can obviously refresh it like that. I suppose that's probably a downfall to it. Um, so basically, you can probably create an um, you could probably create sessions in this. Stop people um, refreshing when they um, don't uh, don't need to be, or because it is kind of cheating, where you can just refresh the process page um, and it will give you a new number. Um, so. That's just a simple high or low script. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.